This is Ghost Bit Miner coming at you from the power of YouTube through the internet itself. So today we're going to look at how to make a USB bootable Windows 10 drive. Um, this comes in handy when you're trying to make a pretty much a brand new computer from scratch. You're going to need a a bootable drive or a bootable CD with Windows on there. Um, so I already have this pulled up. This is uh, from Microsoft. Um, this is what you're going to need to download right here. I'm going to put the link in the, in the description below so you all don't have to look for it. But you're going to go to download tool now. And again, save file. So it's already downloaded. It downloads pretty fast. I'm going to open this up. See, so I already did it once, but I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it. So you're going to use this. Say yes. And then it's going to pull up the Windows uh, application tool right here. And it takes a little bit of time to get everything ready. But um, this is going to come in handy once you make one of these USB drives. Uh, you can keep it for all your future builds. Um, so what, what I recommend is using a USB drive that's better or that's larger than um, 4 gig. Um, I, I like using an 8 gig. Uh, the one I have right now is a 16 gig because it's the only one I can find. But it doesn't have to be a fancy USB. It's going to be a 3.1 or 3.0 or a super fast one. I'm using a 2.0 uh, USB so it's kind of slower but it's all good. Um, so right here where it says what do you want to do? It says upgrade this PC now. Skip this one because we're you know we already have Windows 10 on here uh, so you're gonna go to create a installation media USB flash drive D uh, DVD or iOS file for another PC so that's the one we're gonna choose um, and uh, you can yeah so this one says for this PC but you know we're making it for a different one so you can go down here you can see all the different languages um, edition Windows 10 of course and then um, so what people, what, I mean, what I like to do is do both just in case. Um, but my other computer already know it's going to be a 64-bit. So that's what you want right there. Um, you can do both on there just in case if you want to use it for different applications. But um, I already know the computer I'm going to make it's going to be a 64. So you're going to go to next. So here we go. Uh, as long as you have one USB on there, make sure it's cleared of everything. That uh, makes it a lot easier. And then you see right here it says it needs to be at least 8 gigs. So now we're going to go next. Okay, so that's the one I have my USB in. Let's go ahead and make sure. So I'm going to go to, yep, USB right here. Um, this is the stuff that comes on it. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete that. I don't really, I don't really need that. So I'm going to delete that. Yep. So there we go. So now it's completely empty. Let's see the size of this drive. So 14.5 um, gigs. So that's enough space. So I'm going to go to close that. So this is an E drive. So here we go next. So this portion um, can take up a little bit of time. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and put my timer on. And I'll get back to you when um, when it's done I'll tell you how long it took but just let it do it do its thing okay guys okay guys so it took about I'm gonna have to say 30 minutes probably because I'm using a, the 2.0 USB not a, like a 3.1 or a super fast one so uh, this USB was like 10 bucks at Walmart for um, 16 gigs so you don't have to buy the fanciest one because you're probably only going to use it uh, once or twice to boot up a new um, boot your windows up on a new uh, rig or a new mining rig or new uh, gaming PC anyway so I'm going to hit finish so here we go so now it's going to there we go so it took a couple minutes but let's look at um, what the USB looks like now so I'm going to go to my computer right here and we're gonna go to that so here it is so it's actually pulling up as a whole different type of drive so it's ESD USB E so now it's a bootable drive um, I like to pretty much store these until I need to use them but again when you do start um, building your own rig uh, you're gonna go into the BIOS by hitting uh, I think it's F12 then it's gonna give you an option to boot via disk or boot via USB 
So you're just going to go to the USB bootable um, option. Um, one thing that's kind of cool about this is um, with this drive right here, guys, um, the cool thing is you don't have to buy the uh, your um, keys for it yet, your activation key. You don't need to buy it. You can buy it after you set it up, or you can actually just keep it inactive. I think you can keep it inactive for about a year for free, and then after that, I think it's going to keep prompting you to uh, activate your key. But um, what happens when it's inactive is you're going to see a little water marker right here that says inactive and then you can't change your uh, personalization on your background so it's going to be either black or it's going to have like the windows logo but you can't change anything um, if you're making a mining rig that doesn't matter i've been running a inactive version of microsoft for about three months now and i haven't seen anything uh, bad you know it's, it's still running my mining software my nano pool like nothing so it's doing pretty good um, I'll keep you updated um, again to let you know if there's any issues with the inactive uh, Microsoft um, 10. But that's what I did. Um, that's the way I do it. Again, I'll keep you updated to let you know, oh, well, this happened because it's inactive or, you know, I've been using or I can update you a year from now and it's still actually performing fine. Then you actually have a free version of, Microsoft, of Windows 10. Again, all I use my mining rig for is to mine, so I'm not, you know, this version on my PC, again, I bought it, so, um, I love Microsoft, so again, if you want to support them, activate your keys, I really just don't feel like using an inactive version of the, the key, then, you know, buy a key. Uh, anyways, guys, so that's a little fast video on how to make a beautiful Windows 10 USB. Awesome, guys, thank you.